In this lecture, we're going to cover the importance of sound selection, and I'm going to show you some examples of how just changing the sound or the instrument in your track can really take your beats to the next level. All right, so in Logic, like again, we've been using Contact as a, as a sample library that I showed you how to download and use and upload samples and stuff like that. So what I would do is I'll go ahead and push I to pull up your, your, your inspector here. And what you can do is push, you know, push Command D to double the track. And I'm just going to drag by drag this track down here and make a copy of it. One simple move. Hold down Option. Click on it and drag it down. And now the, now the track is copied. That simple. OK, so what I'll do is and you, you, you if you remember here, we, we added some distortion to this and all that type of stuff. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. I just want you to hear the 808 as it is now. Eh, it's all right. You know what I'm saying? Let's play, let's play with the distortion. It just kind of it doesn't do anything for me. So what I'll do is come in here into the library. And what you want to do is find some 808s that hit harder and that are cleaner. Let's try this one. Now, as you can see, we're going to have to come in here and fix how it sounds. See how it sounds. Okay. The point I'm making here is that 808 sounded a little bit more clear. And I'm just put this distortion on this than the other one. Compared to this. Sounds okay, but it's, it's not rocking like it needs to or knocking. So just by changing a few notes and changing the actual instrument. saying it just it just made it sound a whole lot doper another thing you want to keep in mind here is see this clap is dope but what about a snare to add add some some inf, you know some some more umph to this track so i come over here to this clap or we can come over to kick double it command d i'm gonna come over here and i'm gonna find a snare sound a dope snare all right See, like that's probably going to pop through the mix a little better. So I'm going to use a MIDI keyboard to record this. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm gonna play it with without the snare. Now we're gonna play it with the snare. <laughs> Completely different sound. And I, I would even go in here and play around with the snare as well. Again, you can do even do this with your melody. Um, let's go ahead and push Y to bring up your instrument tracks or your excuse me, your 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 sound bank here. Let's try it like this. You see what I'm saying? That was dope. And what I would do is I would come back over here and double that and still maybe keep that first initial sound that we came up with. I think it was, let me see here. And then you come over here and click that and then drag this down. So hold down option, drag that down. Mute it. Okay, and then what you can do is at different parts in the song, you can switch it up and you have this going. So I'm just showing you the power of this sound selection as you really go in here after you get your basic beat built. You want to make sure that you choose the right sounds because like.